So I've actually had a couple of requests on Facebook and now on YouTube to show off some of the mods I have on my Ender 3. Uh, I will say that when I first got this, I did go online and find like all the recommended mods that you should get. And I did do a, a bunch of them and I was pretty happy with them. But since then, I've uh, done some major work on here and simplified things. So I used to have a ton of like cable chains and stuff like that. But I found uh, simpler was better. So they're all gone. Found, found better ways to manage my cables. Uh, except for the ribbon cable here. I need to finish printing out a chain on there because somebody chewed up the last cable on there so i gotta finish protecting that one from her so let's go over the mods real quick that i have on here so first off i've got octoprint over here this is on 24 7 i've included a fan on the top of there to help keep that from overheating um, that controls some relays that, that are in this custom box here that i built that turn the uh, control board off and on and also control these lights up here and then the light here. So I also have analog controls so I can you know, adjust the brightness. I do like having analog controls even though I like technology. Um, but basically whenever I start a print job, it turns these lights on and then turns them off automatically. And then if the uh, control board is idle, it, that'll get turned off as well. The SD card uh, mount is set here. Uh, I did have the one that was originally on the front here, but then it made tensioning the belt very difficult so i i actually had the belt was too loose um i mean it worked well enough but then i would have like layer shift by just like a quarter of a millimeter uh or uh or get some bad ringing because the belt wasn't tight enough so but this is tight enough that it makes a noise when you do that so let's see on top of here you can see this is the zesty nimble it's got a drive cable that runs to the back i'll show you that in a moment but here is the uh, Zissy Nimble Remote Direct Drive Extruder. I did convert the Bowden tube to a regular direct drive and I liked it because I had so much problems getting the retraction down. Um, but then I had to slow down my prints a lot because it was getting a lot of ringing. So that's why I ended up testing out the Zissy Nimble. Very happy with it. Took a while to get the tuning down for it, but now it works great. So this job is actually uh, set the print at 150 millimeters per second. Um, I don't go any faster than that, and I only do that for uh, prototype parts. Normally, I print at 80 millimeters per second, maybe 100, um, but it works nicely. So I remixed this, uh, the original fang duct to fit the mount that Zessie Nimble provides because no one had one. It includes my LED mount and a BL touch. Now, the BL touch is actually covered by a plastic. Um, sleeve to keep the pin protected so that way the pin uh, can't get caught on a bad print and bent so I've got a uh, filament runout sensor here I actually bought a normal filament runout sensor but I didn't like the casing on it so I pried it apart and then I found uh, I found a, uh, this one online on Thingiverse and just remixed it to fit my purposes alright so let's take a look at the uh, drive cable here it was all the way back to the motor. So I replaced it with a pancake motor. You don't need a ton of torque because uh, it's got a 30 to one ratio on the gearbox. I did modify the bracket here for the mount for additional, uh, for larger holes to put some rubber grommets in just so I can have some uh, vibration dampening and noise dampening from the motor because I'm running a linear advance on here. So it's gonna get, it's gonna get loud sometimes when it prints. Uh, you can see I've got a dry box here with a five foot long, uh, two millimeter inner diameter PTF tube that runs from from here to the filament runout sensor. So here is my pet G roll. Keeps it dry so it doesn't absorb any moisture uh, and also has a dust filter right here. So the the sponge I just basically went to the dollar store and just got a uh, one of the sponges from there and used that. So that that is a good tip. So I wasn't able to find it anywhere else until I went to the Dollar Tree store. All right, and then I uh, also replaced the power supply with a mean well. Uh, and I think that's uh, about it for the, the major parts on here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit pause, and then I'll resume it once this print job starts so you can sort of see the Zessie Nimble in action. All right, just got past the initial layer height, so it's actually sped up the process here. I'll show you the, uh, the motor as it does all this. So 
you can see it doing its retractions. It's a little hard to see. Trying to illuminate a white object with bright white lights doesn't work very well. Let me turn the brightness down a little here. See if that helps. A little bit. All right, so that is the Zesty Nimble running at 150 millimeters per second. All right, thanks for watching.